Hello everyone, it's time for another weekly reads um, and before I start with the books I've read this week um, I just wanted to quickly mention that um, the booktube prize is looking for judges right now um, and it's a cool experience, they have three categories uh, fiction, non-fiction and translated fiction um, and you can sign for all of them or for um, just whichever appeals you the most. I think the, the one that needs the most judges is non-fiction at the moment. Um, and the idea is that there's a list of 48 books and they are grouped in, in uh, groups of six. Um, and then you will be assigned six books for each round and you have to read them in the space of two months. Uh, so six books in two months, it's not too, too much. Um, and then rank them and then Robert, which is the person that organizes it, um, will figure out which ones are the top three of that group and then go to the next round. It's kind of a playoff thing. Um, I will leave the, down below the link for his video where he explains everything much better than I did just now. But if you are interested in knowing how it feels to judge a prize, um, I would recommend that you go there and, and check those, those instructions out and maybe sign up for, for judging. I think that would be cool for a lot of people. You just have to be part of the community. You don't even have to have a channel or anything. So yeah, that's open for everybody that wants to sign up. So yeah, that's something that I just wanted to mention because uh, we are short on judges this year um, and it will be very cool if, if you want to sign up. Uh, now with the books that I finished this week, I finished three books. So the first one that I finished is uh, The Dog by Kerstin Ekman, which is a, a Swedish author, a fairly classic Swedish author, I believe. I read this for Invisible Cities um, as part of my Swedish reading, and it's a very short book. It has illustrations as well. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but yeah, it has illustrations, and it's very... It's not poems, but it's very poetic in the language and very meditative about the nature of Sweden and it follows a dog um, that is sort of abandoned as a puppy in the forest and how he figures out how to live and eventually uh, also meets a human and that interaction between the human and the dog. Um, so yeah, that's basically what this book is about. As I said, it's very meditative, so it doesn't have a lot of plot. And you just follow the everyday life of this dog, and it's narrated from the point of view of this dog as well. Um, I thought it was an interesting um, take on things. I, I think that it's very evocative of Sweden, um, at least from the part that I am aware of. So... Yeah, I, I like this one. The next one that I read is again for Invisible Cities, this time for Guinea, and that is Le Roi du Cajel um, by Tierno Monenembo. Um, and this I read in, in French. It's also not a very long book. Um, and it's um, about the, the life of Sandoval, which was this uh, French explorer that eventually settled in Guinea. Um, and this one, um, as far as I, I know, it has won several prizes from the French language and stuff. But for me, it was just, um, I did not, I mean, there was some, some parts uh, touching on the um, life of the natives, but the author, as far as I know, it's, it's a native uh, Guinea. And it was a bit puzzling to me why he would chose to write about this white French guy that came to to the region of Guinea, like the, I think it's the central region, and um, stayed there. I did, uh, this book did prompt me to, to do some research on this person, so it was interesting enough, um, and I didn't dislike the book, but I just, it was just not the um, perspective and the um, things I, I like to read when I read books of, for other countries. Um, so yeah, in that sense it was not, for me it was not the most interesting. I would have preferred 
something like the kind of things that Chinua Achebe writes, um, post-colonial, I, I guess you can call it. But um, yeah, if if you don't mind that too much, I think it's it's a good book. And then the last book that I finished this week was my read it for um, for October, and that was Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, again, short book. Uh, it's a classic. I think most people know what this is about. It's about Victor Frankenstein, who is a very troubled troubled man that decides to create this uh, monster. And uh, yeah, the monster um, escapes from the lab and yeah, it, it kind of tries to become a human, but because of the way he looks, um, he's not treated as a human, he's treated as a monster. Um, and it's about, basically about the, the conversation of what makes us human and how the monster is a lot more human in many ways than Victor Frankenstein himself is um, in terms of empathy and things like that. Um, and yeah, I really like the story. I really like how um, how it's, it's told and the things that it explores. I think it's one of those things that are never out of place, like it doesn't age badly. Um, also, I, I had not... I didn't remember how good the writing and the lyricism is in the book as well. Um, I think it was very well written, especially for how young Marie Shelley was when she wrote this. Um, and I find it that is one of the few classics that I really enjoy because it's not... I mean, most English classics are about marriages and couples and things, and this is completely out of work compared to those things. So I did enjoy this and how innovative it is in, in the topic that is it's portraying and the topics that it touches upon. And then the last thing I wanted to mention is that I'm currently reading uh, Born by Jeff Van de Meer. Um, I'm reading this for my book club, which is uh, on Thursday. Um, so I hope to finish it this week. Um, and yeah, it's... Uh, so far, it's it's very well written. I I have heard a lot about Jeff Van der Meer, but I have never read him before. Um, and I know that a lot of people love him because of his weirdness. And although it is at least this book is weird, um, it's not that weird, and uh, the writing is really good. So I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I'm about 20% of the way in, so not too, too far. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to keep reading it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I have read and what I'm reading. I don't know what I'm going to be reading next. I think it's a bit of a mood read for a while. I, I don't have any projects um, at the moment, which feels kind of weird because I have had so many projects lately but um, it's not a bad thing I think and yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to reading some things that I just want to read um, so yeah that's all for me today um, I hope you enjoyed let me know what you have read this week if you have read any of the books I mentioned and until next video bye